Hello everyone, today is July 21st, 2020, 5 o'clock p.m., 91 Fahrenheit, 33 Celsius. Currently, I'm in Bryant Park, and today I'm going to be walking 5th Avenue from 42nd Street to 59th Street during the Phase 4 reopening of the economy from COVID-19. Right now, it should be rush hour, but there's not too many people outside right now. The crowds are definitely more than a few months ago when the pandemic really hit New York City hard. But now that the economy is loosening up, there's more people outside now. And let's get started. This is the back side of the New York Public Library, which is inside Bryant Park. We'll see how much Fifth Avenue has changed since March, April. Fifth Avenue got hit twice from the pandemic. The first was during the, um, the New York City on pause mode, which forced many retailers to close up. It wasn't until phase two that the retailers were allowed to open again. Also, the Black Lives Matter movement forced many of the Fifth Avenue businesses to board up their stores. I remember walking by Saks Fifth Avenue one day and seeing all the boarded up windows on Saks Fifth Avenue with all the guards outside. That was such a surreal sight to see. I still expect Fifth Avenue to be surreal, but we'll see how it is today on this summer weekday afternoon. You can see the Vanderbilt Tower still under construction. Here's the Fifth Avenue subway station. Here's two people who have lost everything except my smile and hope. It's really depressing to see people in that state. I know a lot of people are struggling right now. Many people have lost their jobs. It's expensive to live in New York, so... Grocery prices have gone up. Many landlords have refused to lower rents and we see more people like that in need. It's such a sad thing to see. Many people are also on unemployment benefits right now, and the federal unemployment uh, bonus of $600 a week is ending next week. Next week will be the last payment for the $600 a week, unless it's extended somehow. All right, so Fifth Avenue is pretty lively, comparatively. Here we got someone selling some bags in front here on the street. Skechers is also open. Most of the retailers are open right now. They just can only do business at 50% capacity. But under the phase four reopening, most businesses are allowed to reopen. The main exceptions are the indoor dining options. That's not allowed on the phase four. Also, Broadway is not open until next year. Originally, when the pandemic started, they delayed Broadway until September, and now it's gonna be next year. But, as a phase four, some of the more notable places that are 
open right now are the Brooklyn Botanic Garden, the Bronx Zoo, and many of the uh, low-risk outdoor activities like media production. Best Buy is also open. But then again, Best Buy is also moving across the street, so I guess maybe the lease ran out over here at their 529 Fifth Avenue location, and now they're moving across the street. There's another vendor selling bags. Look for traffic. There's no traffic. Let's go. Definitely a very, very different site on Fifth Avenue compared to April. You never saw a five below open before. I've always considered Fifth Avenue to be more of a tourist street though. I'm actually surprised to see so many people outside right now on Fifth Avenue. Okay, if this car is not going, I'm gonna go. A lot of bag vendors, I see. Also, the I Love New York gift store is open. I don't know who might be purchasing these right now as tourism has pretty much all dried up in New York City. But you can get postcards for 10 cents a postcard and 99 cents a postcard. I know international travel to New York City has pretty much halted right now, but I guess domestic travelers can still come here. Certain states have restrictions that when they come over here, they need to quarantine for 14 days. I don't know how well that's enforced, but that's what people are supposed to do. Here's 46th Street, Little Brazil. A lot of traffic too, I notice. The buses are still free until next month when the NTA is going to put um, fare collection on the bus. Right now people can only enter at the rear of the bus unless they have some kind of issue where they need to use the front such as the elderly or a wheelchair. But the MTA does that as a precaution for their employees. Here's 47th Street, Diamond District. I think the Diamond District should be busy today. Let's take a look. How's the Diamond District? Yep, it is busy on the Diamond District. I'm still surprised at Fifth Avenue. It seems like it's almost all about normal now on Fifth Avenue, even though there's not really too much tourism. It's Sephora. Sephora, there's an employee in front, probably limiting the amount of people that can go into the store. There's some people waiting for the bus. Now, as of phase two, the office workers are allowed to go back to work. I wonder how many of these people 
are office workers because at the start of phase two, there were barely anybody in the city going back to work in the offices. I see a couple of people in, um, in dress shirts and pants, so I assume they may be office workers. I guess employers are slowly letting their employees back to work. Many of these office workers have worked from home for many months now. Sometimes it isn't the most efficient way to do things, but many companies and businesses figured it out. There's Saks Fifth Avenue. And just a short time ago, Saks Fifth Avenue was covered in plywood and barbed wire with guards and attack dogs in the front. It looked like a fortress and I jokingly called it at that time, Fort Saks. I often get questions about what I'll film when I run out of content in New York, if I've walked every street and every neighborhood. But here I am filming Fifth Avenue for probably my 10th time plus, and it's completely different every time. So there is no running out of content while walking every street in New York. This is always changing. Rockefeller Center is open now. There's 30 Rock. At the top of 30 Rock is the top of the rock observation deck. Let's see what Cole Hahn has to say, what their notice says. Oh, so Cole Hahn is closed. But most of the other retailers are open. You see, even the, if the stores are allowed to reopen, some choose not to. Just like not everybody is going back to work in the offices. Here's Banana Republic. Banana Republic, they have face mask requirements and also physical distancing requirements in their store now. Also new store hours. And there's also curbside pickup available. You can call in, call in and drive up and pop the trunk and they'll deliver the items to you. St. Patrick's Cathedral is all barricaded off. I'm not sure if St. Patrick's Cathedral is even open right now. He has Atlas in front of the International Building. Now express buses, people do need to pay for the express buses. It's only the local buses which are currently free. traffic coming here. It's still shocking to see Victoria's Secret boarded up. Is Victoria's Secret even open? Wow, look at this. So Victoria's Secret is closed. Looks like Victoria's Secret will always be a secret because we can't go in and see it.
I guess Fifth Avenue is doing relatively well because I actually expected fewer people here today. People still have to shop for clothes and other goods, I guess. These retailers definitely need the business. Like I said, they were hit hard during COVID, closed for a while, and then the uh, George Floyd protests and the Black Lives Matters movement forced many of these businesses to close due to um, crime prevention. They boarded up the stores because they were afraid of getting looted. This watch store is open, but no one's inside. Uniglo is open right now. Also, I've noticed um, many of the clothing stores now now have reusable masks that you can buy. I think right now the Old Navy reusable masks are a popular item. This uh, church to the left of me, St. Thomas Church, is also closed off. There's chains on the staircases, so no one's allowed in there right now. And I don't know why there's so many um, seeds, I guess, on the ground here. I think someone was trying to feed the birds and they didn't do a successful job. And the other side of the street, I don't really see too much activity in those stores. Tag Heuer, Stuart Weitzman, and Coach. Right now, I would assume the luxury clothing stores and brands to suffer a lot because right now people just want the essentials. They want they want essential clothing. They want clothing they could wear all the time. They don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a luxury item. buses this block. Three express buses and two local buses. Now I am going to cross over the street soon because I want to show the Black Lives Matter mural in front of Trump Tower that is that was painted on the street. Across the street here. There's one truck coming. All right. Hopefully I don't have any issue with security or walking on the same side of the street as Trump Tower. I have heard on the news that several people have tried to vandalize the Black Lives Matters um, mural over there. 
on the street. I've also read that there were several police officers assigned to guard the mural on the ground. It might even be hard to see because you can't really even get near it because the NYPD barricades are right in front of it. You can't even get near the planters. You see, you can't even get near it now. But there it is, that's the Black Lives Matter mural in front. There's even a police car right on top of the mural. To think that there will be a Black Lives Matter mural in front of Trump Tower. Here is 57 Street, also known as Billionaire's Row in this area. This whole street is just lined with buses, one after the other. As I stated before, I don't see too many people shopping inside these high-end stores. Bulgari, I don't really see anybody inside. Bergdorf Goodman, I don't see anyone there either. Let's see if there's people inside Louis Vuitton. They do have a rainbow mural outside their store, though. Right, there's some people who went inside Louis Vuitton. There's a... Uh, yeah, there's a few people inside Louis Vuitton. How about Hublot? I think there's one person inside there. Bergdorf Goodman has restrictions on who can go in, I think. But this side of the street is open. There's another Bergdorf Goodman across the street. Now probably the most popular retailer in this part of Fifth Avenue, the Apple Store. Let's see how their demand for iPhones is. I did read something that said that the iPhone SE is getting very popular now because people want to get an affordable phone that works well. So the iPhone SE works that works well for that. After all, getting the iPhone 11 Pro Max probably will cost at least a thousand dollars if you get everything maxed out. I don't think there's going to be as many people spending $1,000 on a phone in the middle of a pandemic.
All right, folks. This finishes up the video of Fifth Avenue. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, folks. Stay healthy. And bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.